and handcuffed in her own home. And her crime was to post a protest against Daniel Andrews on Facebook. Stop! Shame on you! I never thought that I would see a scene in my country where the police opened fire with rubber bullets. of unarmed protesters as they flee. And I never thought that I would see Dr Mark Hobart a doctor's surgery where Dan's black shirts went into that doctor's surgery and stole confidential patient, patient files. But what has disturbed me the most is how the political class, both Labor and Liberal, have refused to call this out. Right here on the steps of this parliament to say the Premier of this nation is a bully and a thunk and an abuser of human rights. extortion, coercion and blackmail to force citizens to undergo a medical intervention against their free will. That is an abuse of human rights. No Australian in this country should ever have to fear losing their job because they don't want to participate in a medical experiment. And I'll tell you what, we should not only criticise Dan Andrews, the Prime Minister of this country... Scott Morrison has the power federally to make Dan Andrews heal, but he's refused to, and he stands side by side with Dan Andrews, and he stands equally condemned. We're going to see a fair bit of me, lucky you. We've got, uh, hopefully, a pretty energetic agenda lined up and ready to go, and I promise you guys, you're not going to be bored. It is going to be great! Look at the size of this crowd! You guys are incredible! We really needed a strong turnout today and you guys, Melbourne, Victoria has not disappointed. Now, we're actually supposed to be starting with a very powerful and sombre rendition of the National Anthem by a uh, fabulous violinist, but I am not sure if he's actually here. And I've just been told that we can't find him. <laughs>